surely an organisation that tries to change and influence governments and their policies should have its financials in good order? You'd think so, but get up are the biggest bunch of hypocrites around. This is GetUp who calls for transparency and accountability from political parties, uh, from other campaigners, but they are the most opaque organisation around. You've got GetUp who, who goes out and attacks companies who employ Australians for how those companies manage their tax affairs, but GetUp itself takes advantage of those similar rulings that the tax office would give. Get up are just a bunch of hypocrites. So, so I'm interested in, in all of this. Get up is a not-for-profit, but it says it's not, nor is it required to be registered with the Australian Charities and Not-for-Profits Commission. We know whenever there's this debate about where they sit politically, they certainly never back anyone on the right. They back uh, political parties on the left. They say they're then not an associated entity for the purposes of the Electoral Commission laws or the Electoral Act. How is it they seem to skate through all the rules but still exist and, and out there on the political field? Uh, it, it is a very good question. Uh, it seems that GetUp are able to, to skate through the, the existing laws in relation to how they behave. And you're so correct. This is GetUp, who, for all intents and purposes, are a, a campaigning wing of the Labor Party and the Greens. This is GetUp, who go out and actively campaign against Liberal National Members of Parliament. And when I say campaign, I don't mean just say, you know, vote for the other mob or this is an issue. You've had Nicole Flint mm. on your program. What Get Up and their members did to Nicole Flint in Boothby is nothing short of a national disgrace. How they've targeted other Liberal National Members of Parliament is also a disgrace. Uh, and so I have real questions about how Get Up always claim their... their uh, they, they claim that they're not connected to the Labor Party. They claim they're not connected to the Greens. But where I come from, if you, if you walk like a duck and you quack like a duck and you lay duck eggs, you're a duck. Well, Get Up is clearly connected to the Labor Party and Green campaigns. Well, of course they are. You go onto their website, you're there for five minutes or you uh, receive some of their collateral, some of their paraphernalia, and you've got no doubts where they stand on the left or the right of politics, it's absolutely on the left. Their donations last uh, financial year, James McGrath, fell by 25%, almost 25%. Now, do you think perhaps, seeing that, that GetUp was exposed, I think, for the first time really in last year's federal election campaign, that people who thought they were a grassroots independent sort of character, you know, a campaigning mob as opposed to a, a group of left-wing activists, do you think people saw through them for the first time and that might answer why the, the quarter drop in their profits? Or, or, sorry, in their donations? I oh, certainly, I really do think people are starting to, to see through this this pyramid scheme that GetUp operates, mm. and what's that's what they are. They are a, they are a political pyramid scheme who who take uh, money from people who are you know interested in politics because they think GetUp are bipartisan, but uh, and then use it to campaign against conservative or liberal national members of, of parliament. And what has happened due to sustained campaigning from a number of liberal national politicians over the years that finally people are seeing the truth about GetUp, that they're not this issues-based organisation. They're an organisation who exists solely for one reason. And remember, Bill Shorten sat on their board. Bill Shorten put money from his union in to get up. They exist for one reason, and that is to, to stop the Liberal National Party from winning elections. So, yes, people are finally seeing through the fog and the mist that is get up. I was surprised that they had a profit of 1.3 million or a surplus, they call it, in terms of their accounts, and that they didn't pay tax. That surprised me to read the story today. But I was also surprised that they pay executive salaries on an increasing ratio last financial year of a 16% pay hike. Now, GetUp gets a lot of mum and dad sort of uh, donations, or it used to. I think they will fall away as people understand that they aren't what they say they are. But did that surprise you, a 16% hike for campaigners? Or are they bringing, you know, importing in a campaigning te techniques from uh, the US and elsewhere? Is that why they need to pay those sorts of wages? Uh, I just think they've got their, their snouts in the trough. 
you know, get up as an organisation who, who claim to get money from mum and, mum and dad donors who give small donations but somehow uh, are able to pay these rather large salaries to, to their corporate executives. And they are corporate executives. They are very well high paid. And whether they're from overseas or, or Australia, what they're doing mm. is they've got a business model that exists by taking money off mum and dad donors. Uh, you've got the fat cats at, at GetUp headquarters uh, who, who use whatever techniques, this thing called a bird dogging, uh, which I know mm -hmm. Nicole's spoken to you about before, bird dogging, where, where they go after and intimidate uh, Liberal National uh, MPs and candidates, uh, a bird dogging which is a concept that, that when Get Up appeared before the committee under sustained questioning from Senator Erica Betts and Mr Tony Passan, uh, they refused to condemn such an appalling political technique. So I'm not surprised they also pay themselves too much money because they don't actually really understand uh, what drives middle Australia. All right, well, you're the chair of the Parliamentary Committee on Electoral Matters. You're looking into the conduct uh, of last year's federal election. You've got a big report about to land. What are you going to do about it? Well, I think let's wait till the report lands. I, I'll get a massive trouble if, if I speak about uh, what will be in the report uh, before it's gone, uh, uh, been adopted by the committee and, and tabled in, in Parliament. Mm -hmm. But uh, all I can say is watch this space. All right, well, I'll hold you to that. I'll get you back on the program when you can talk about it, James McGrath, because I know you are, you are pretty exercised about Get Up. Appreciate your time tonight.